So yeah, a few reasons why I chose this um, shield auto care window. Um, it's a glass unit, but it's double glazed. So a lot of units are single glazed and obviously that lets out heat from the van. Um, so this is a double glaze both sides on the panels. It's got a really good lock system on it. So there's a mechanism here and a sliding opener. But it feels really substantial, which again, some windows seem a bit flimsy. So it's a nice sliding unit. Um, really heavy construction, it's aluminium frame construction, it's got some drain holes in the bottom. Um, so that obviously goes on the outside of the van. Um, it's designed for 30mm thick windows, so I've built this frame out of 30 by 30 which will go on the inside of the van. And that's the fixing, so you bond the outside and then that fits on and you've got an inner frame then which goes over and fits into a mounting channel there's like a groove on this inner frame here so this groove down here these screws pre-drilled and the self tap has come with the unit and then you can drill and screw into the frame there so that should provide quite a nice seal and fit for the window and then the only bit I'm a bit confused about at the moment is there's an inner frame which sits over the top of here but I'm not sure these holes don't seem to line up so I'm a bit confused about that at the moment we'll have to see how that goes on the installation but then there's this inner frame so the fittings are in under here if you pull these out there's holes pre-drilled in the back of the plastic here which line up with holes on this mounting frame so it gives it a nice finish on the inside and then you've got a blackout blind which is got reflective material on the back and a fly net and there's a metallic strip here as well so they click together so then you can pull one and they take quite a bit of force to get them open and um, they seem to be a very reasonable price so for the job that I was after, I thought all round it was a really good, good window system. Um, and like I said, there wasn't much on the internet about it, so I thought I'd just do a few short videos at various stages of the installation just to uh, see how it's gone. I've built my template ready, which is for the cutout. So you draw around the inner frame, and then it does say to leave three mil extra on the top and bottom and 4mm extra on the width which I'm not sure if it's for these cushioning uh, strips on here um, or I think it might be the radius when you push, push the window in it actually it, there's a slight gradient on there but yeah let's see how the installation goes um, so yeah we're on the inside of the van now and I've got roughly marked out with tape where the window was going um, so I've, the frame just about fits in this panel, so this is roughly where my kitchen's going to be, so it's for ventilation of the kitchen mainly. And let some light in, so that's going to be roughly there, and that sits quite nicely in that panel. Sort of runs in at the top edge here on this support, so that's going to determine the exact positioning of the window. Well, that's quite a nice fit and this support here as well sort of lines up with this 30mm so I can get some extra rigidity there if I wanted on the window and then my cut out will go in there so that's how we're hoping it's going to work out and yeah in a few hours we'll see <laughs> Okay, so an update on the van progress. 
um, looking again at getting moving with the van. I haven't done much since sort of July, August time. These windows, the outside framework was fitted back in July. Um, I had some questions at the time about the inner frames, how they work. So there's a, an inner metal frame. And then there's this frame here, which is the one that goes on the inside and it's got the shutout blind and also the fly blind is in the front fly screen. Um, so there's two bits to go on here and I've been trying to work out. I've got these paper instructions, but I don't know if it's me, but they don't seem very clear. And I've looked at them, looked at them, scratched my head a lot. And I think I know what I'm going to be doing. So I think this inner frame goes on here about there. And I don't know if you can see this. This has got a rounded edge here, but this frame has got a square 90 degree. So there's these corner bits here that you can see the inner, like the wood frame, you can see all this. So that isn't great. Um, also, these um, frames come pre-drilled. So there's some fixing screws here to fix the actual frame. Then there's some pilot holes. Can, I, can you see that? Um, I don't know if you can, but there. There's some pilot holes here for fixing the plastic in a frame too. Now these fixing screws on the sides here seem to line up with the channels on here, maybe to screw into, but top and bottom they miss by quite a while. Um, so I'm thinking if I can get them fixed three in each side here that'll give it some rigidity top and bottom hopefully it might catch go straight through I might have to drill through it might just catch this wood frame at the top if not I might have to put another piece in I don't know to fix that too and then what I was thinking was once that's in place about there I'd try and bring the ply which is going to be the inner wall um, bring that down hopefully it'll come flush so that I can sort of maybe use this to help fix to but it's just not quite this is just a bit further set back than this pillar um, but I may just be able to get that I might just bring it to this edge here actually that would probably work better um, and then fix the outer frame to the ply and, and through here so that's the plan I'm going to have a go and see how it turns out <laughs> all right cheers So a bit of an update, I uh, fitted the black inner frame, screwed it directly to the outer black frame that I was talking about. Um, you can see this corner here where I say this has got a radius on it and the other's a right angle. Um, you can also see like the inner track where the screws are, so I might try and get some rubber stripping and see if that will just fill that gap in. Um, there might be some in the box actually thinking about it so I need to double check that um, and then I've just put four screws in to hold this frame in which is the one with the, the shutters on and it's lining up quite nicely um, I also started to cut this out I'm cutting everything by hand and in a workshop without even a proper table or anything so everything is um, winging it really <laughs> and uh, so I've started to do the cutout and then I realised for the final adjustments what I really need to do is make sure that it fits um, where I need to fix it in here so I'm going to screw this onto the wall where I want my fixings and do the final adjustments of this cutout because I cut it slightly slightly short because 
you can always take a bit more off but you can't add a bit back in so yeah I'm going to do the final adjustments but it's coming along a lot better than I expected so which is cool hey feeling pretty chuffing myself this morning so for months I've been scratching my head about how to go about this last bit the, the window was fitted back in July and it was how the inner frame was put together there's two sections to that and then how I was going to measure and cut all this out because I don't have I only have hand tools and um, don't even have a proper workbench it's a makeshift workbench um, but this morning I've done it wow <laughs> So the moral of the story is sometimes you've just got to get started, just crack on, trust yourself, get the job sorted, nice one, quick run through, look. Yes. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Yeah, so it took a while, but um, the windows are finally finished with the inner frames on. And um, yeah, I was scratching my head a lot whilst fitting these. Um, but pleased with them overall uh, for the money, really good value. Um, with the contour of the van, it runs out slightly from the top to the bottom. I don't know if you can see that there. Not really noticeable on this side, but I'll show you the other side in a bit. And um, yeah, it's uh, more noticeable on the sliding door side. The other thing which um, is a bit weird is the inner frame has a contour on it. So it has this circular, like a radius. But then the inner frame here has this square. So you get this corner that you can see there. And I realised... With this one so I did it differently with the other I cut a piece of ply out and um, painted it black so you can't see that uh, but that's the small window on the driver's side of the van which would be in the kitchen area let's just quickly move around so this is the one I've just been fitting the windows need a wash <laughs> um, so yeah the run you can see here this one runs out quite a lot from the top here, we've got about an inch and a half down to almost zero down here. So that's because of the contour of the, the sliding door. And it also means then that you know, we can see here and then it pulls in and then it comes back out here a little bit. So um, it's not a perfect fit. But I've been working with hand tools, so that's uh, that's okay. And then the other thing was that the big the big thing I had about the frame was so this on this side I've got the inner and outer frames matched up, um, and you can see here I've got the radius, but you can't really tell because I've got the black behind there. Um, so on that side, that's all okay. But then on this side, it doesn't meat you can see the screw heads here so this is the edge of the frame and so yeah I don't know what's going on there um, so if you're looking for a perfect finish then maybe not I really like the windows for the price the double glazed good locking system hefty frame um it's good that you have these so you've got a blind and the fly net built in so it means i don't have to fit curtains don't have to fit curtains and um so yeah overall i'm pleased with them very pleased <laughs> especially like i say i've been been doing the job with hand tools so um that's turned out really well um 
maybe if it was in a, a professional conversion company they could make a better job of it maybe but um i think there are some slight issues with the design but again for the money really good really happy with them fabulous